welcome back to my channel. This is Perfection Art by Tracy, and I'm Tracy. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're joining us today. And if you're returning, welcome back. So, I don't know about you guys, but I have the hardest time making decisions. I've been that way my entire life. My mom, my sweet mom that everybody probably knows by now, I lost last November. She used to always tell me, even as a little girl, she couldn't hand me my shoes and socks and tell me to put them on. She would walk in the room 30 minutes later and I would be crying sitting there looking at my shoes and socks because I couldn't decide what sock to put on first, on what foot, and the same with the shoes. I don't know why I'm that way. I've just always been that way my whole life. The reason for this long, silly, ridiculous story is I got like, I hit a wall with painting. I had so many different techniques I wanted to do and so many different paintings I wanted to do that I haven't painted in like three or four days because I couldn't decide did I want to do another Dutch pour? Did I want to do a swipe bloom? I'll show you. I was playing around um, with some swipe balloons last week and I really, really liked them and I thought they were so pretty. Um, and these were just colors I already had made up. So I wanted to do some more, but then I also wanted to still play with the, the pearl pour and Dutch pour and I don't know. So I just kept not coming up to the studio to paint so I couldn't decide. So today I was watching videos and I saw Brian from Brian's um, Upper Valley Artistry did a mini collaboration with Sweet Mina, um, Mina Villegas, and they did a sandwich pour. And I haven't done one in a long time. <laughs> I actually have several filmed, but it was before I really even started YouTube and didn't know about turning your phone sideways. So I've debated on uploading those videos because they turned out beautiful. As a matter of fact, both of them are hanging in a, a local hair salon now. But the the video there's themselves is just horrible because it's, you know, the regular way a camera goes. So I'm going to do a sandwich pour today. And what really made me decide to go ahead and do it was Nina in her video, she's like, this is a great technique, you know, to get rid of some leftover paints. And I seem to always have lots of leftover paints. So once again, this is probably not going to be a video that I'm going to be able to tell you what all the colors are. I do know that this green, um, which I'm still not completely convinced I'm going to use it, but it is a mixture of Peridot and I think it is Golden's Greenish Yellow, but it really turned out to be a really pretty green. <sighs> the pink, Ugh, I'm not sure. I think, I think that it is Blix Fluorescent Violet mixed with deco art extreme sheen pink tourmaline can't say that without thinking about mina um and this one i think is deco art lagoon but it's definitely got something else mixed in it because there's some iridescence to it and i strained this for all i know this could even be just table scrapes i don't know um i do know this one is table scrapes from from the uh the last painting that i did where my camera shut off <laughs> the one that i ended up doing a twofer so it was just a beautiful beautiful like light turquoise color this one i do know is blue flash um, there's only a little bit but i don't need much with a sandwich pour and I have way too many colors, honestly. Um, but again, I'm just trying to get rid of colors. I'm not sure about this. I'm going to take a guess. I think this is Lucas Krill 
indigo mixed with some golden's Payne's gray i think oh and this one oh it's actually written on here this one is global teal so pretty and i've got you guys set up at actually my drying table tonight um, because i'm doing a 20 by 24 and even though this table is not the best for paintings i don't have all of my little handy gadgets right by me it's a much bigger table um, the lighting isn't as good but it's just it's easier to pour over here when i'm doing a larger canvas and this of course is decorate extreme sheen 24 karat gold that looks very lumpy for some reason yeah i'm gonna strain that one real quick i'll put you guys on pause so you won't miss out anything but it's it's got some lumps in it i had combined several different um, little cups of 24 karat gold and obviously one of them has some lumps so i'm gonna strain that real quick and then this one i think i know that there's some um it's golden's um, iridescent gold fine but i think this is the one that i mixed the um, golden pearl with because it's beautiful gold but it's a really 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 soft gold so and I'd love to tell you that everything is mixed with mixed pour which more than likely it is because that's what I use the majority of the time but there's no guarantees I can guarantee you there's no silicone in there because I don't use silicone um, like I said I'm doing a 20 by 24 going to do a sandwich pour. I've got several 16 ounce cups just in case. I mixed up a huge container of Amsterdam titanium white and that for sure is mixed with mixed pour. So I'm going to put you guys on pause real quick. Go strain my 24 karat gold and then we're going to come back and layer our cup for a sandwich pour. And I'm sure most people know, but if you don't, the way you do a sandwich pour is you fill the bottom of your cup with close to about two ounces of white, and then you drizzle your colors on top, and then you do another thick layer of white, and drizzle your colors on top of that, and then you top it off with a layer, thick layer of white. So it really does make a soft, beautiful, painting and I just kind of wanted something soft and beautiful and I'm gonna the ones I've done before actually elevated my canvas and I just poured and kind of let it run down almost like a waterfall but I was going back and forth I've never done a sandwich pour with a flip cup and that was what Mina and Brian did today and it just looked really cool so I'm gonna try that like I said, I'm going to put you guys to some music while I'm pouring. i um, going to run strain my 24 karat gold and I will be right back. So we are back. My goodness, I had to strain this gold four times. So I, and there's, I still see little tiny things, but I'm thinking they're just little trapped air bubbles. So I use that really fine strainer that you, know, you get from the dollar store. So. I don't know how anything could have gotten through that. So, again, I got a really pretty variety of colors. Don't know if I'll use all of them or not, but we're just going to have some fun and see if we can make something really pretty. So, enjoy the music, and I will join you guys back at the end for a close-up and final thoughts. So, while you're listening to the music and watching the painting, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you take a second to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to all so that you will be notified of any other videos that I do release. I would greatly appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. So, I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. One for the resting, for the adjusting, one for the tired hands. 
one for the let downs All thanks to the soul town One for the shadow plans You know the time has come for breaking some new ground I'll let you drive So we will stare at views we can't believe we found We'll feel alive You're still my favorite queen of the night My friend, let's drive off again Let's drive off again Let us believe the ones know what's right My friend, let's drive through
my goodness, y'all. I love this. Love, 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 love. It is so soft. Oh, and there's just so much going on with it. You can see every color. Look, even little cells with the, the um, fluorescent violet pop through. My only, only wish I had was put more paint. Um, one, my paint was very thick, which I knew, and, and that was okay with me, but I had to stretch just to cover the canvas a little bit more than I would have liked, and that's why I got some of these wonky cells, but, <clears throat> excuse me, as I have said numerous times before, I like wonky. Wonky doesn't bother me. And then I think because I put the gold down on top of that white, um, sort of as a base coat, little puddle, that 24 karat gold shine through. But, oh my gosh, there's just so much detail. That's another place I think the gold popped through. And I love that. It's so much softer than what it's showing up on my um, phone. Look, you can see that fluorescent violet everywhere. But even though it's soft, oh, it's so pretty right in there. Even though it's soft, there's so much color and movement to it and nothing, you know, muddied or, I mean, every everybody played well in the playground today. That is for sure. <laughs> oh, it's just so pretty. Y'all see here, look at, I just stuck my finger in it. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. You can't even tell. My camera's not focusing. All right, look at this blending right there. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, y'all, I am so in love with this piece. So, 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 so in love with it. It is, gosh, it's so much prettier in person than it shows up on my phone. And again, it reminds me of like a coastal shoreline. I love it. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you love it as much as I do? Or am I just obsessing a little bit too much of it or over it? But, oh, I do. I'll say it one more time. I love it. And I love you guys. And I love you being here and joining me on this journey. This was a lot of fun. I may have to make a sister piece to this one because I have enough um, leftover paints. I have to mix up some more white, but that's no big deal. But I may make a sister piece to her. I love it. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts. Again, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. It would just honestly, truly mean the world to me. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know if you love her as much as I do. <laughs> and if you are interested in purchasing any of my pieces, leave me a message, email me. My email is in the description. I'll do my best on listing the colors um, in the description, but like I said, it's that's just a, a guess. But I love you guys. Thank you again so, so much for being here. And as always, until next time, bye friends. All right, so here she is all nice and dried and it dried beautifully got it out my backyard so i can get the natural lighting all those little colors still showed up so pretty i really really am so happy with this piece so much so i did a second piece okay i thought oh this is great sell them as a diptych so last night i started setting them side by side just so I could figure out like what composition I liked best. My husband kept looking at them going, yeah, they're pretty, but they're different sizes. I said, no, they're not. They're both 20 by 24. He's like, okay, y'all look at this. It's two inches smaller. This is a 18 by 24. And that's a 20 by 24. 
Oh my God. How did I do that? Let me back up. Look, look at this. <laughs> so now either a diptych in two different sizes or two different paintings. Either way, they're both really, really pretty. And it was crazy how to me, they both kind of had the same flow line. That's my pup barking in the background. She's mad that I'm in the yard and she's not. So yeah. Make sure you double check your canvas sizes before doing a diptych. <laughs> you just gotta laugh. You just gotta laugh. So, anyway, I hope you guys like them. Um, thank you so much for being here. They are for sale, either as a pair or individually. So, if you're interested, feel free to send me an email and let me know. And as always, thank you guys so much for being here. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've ever done this. <laughs> I love you guys. Until next time. Bye, friends.